Hello, and this is Bright Weber doing a Minecraft tutorial, and I'm gonna make a new world. This is this is my very first survival world. Actually, not my very first survival world, but it's my very first time that I've ever done a survival a survivor survival tutorial on YouTube. And this is also my very first video that I've ever done um solo. I've done it with Q. I've done only one with Qhan, but this time I'm doing it by myself. So the world name is going to be called Tutorial World. Sorry about my um, lack of type, lack of spelling. I'm really bad at spelling. And then I'm going to allow cheese on because I might need to go on that sometimes. No bonus chest. Yeah, let's begin. Okay, so we're in a jungle biome. Awesome. We have lots of trees. We have lots of gra we have lots of weeds so we can make our food. So you can have seeds and this is awesome. So usually in a jungle um biome. I usually, actually, right when I start the game, we need to get wood at right away. So if you're in a plains biome, just in a plains biome, it's good for food, it's good for seeds, but you need to try to find a jungle area to get your wood supply. So, so if you start a world, um, hope, um, don't hope for a plain biome, hope for a um, jungle biome, des no, not desert. Try to hope for biomes that have trees in them. I know plain biomes do have a little trees in them, but still. It's kind of good if there is a plain biome next to like one of the tree biomes. Oh wow. And there's a the mountain biome, that's one of my favorite um, seeds ever. Okay, now I'm gonna get seeds. And usually Right when I start the game, I would I like to um, get all um, get um, start a farm right away, so it's not a big deal. Right when it's good. What peaceful? No, hard is what I'm talking about. Okay, so sorry about the peaceful thing. I didn't check it before I filmed. Okay, so to build a crafting bench, you just saw it. You you do this. Just those. Now I'm going to craft a sword. So, to get sticks, you place one block um, on top of the other. And that's how you get, then you get four sticks out of that. Then to build sword, you do one stick right there, and two sticks right there. And there are two wooden plates right there. Any type. Then you get a wooden sword. And then that goes on for the other one, like if you want a diamond sword, or a gold sword, stone, or iron sword, just place a stick right here, then any sub then any material right there. Okay, now next, I'm going to build a hoe, because I really need a hoe. Actually, more, I need a wood wooden pickaxe, and I also need an axe. There I go. Axe is to chop down trees faster. Now I'm just going to kill some pigs, so I have a little food to start out with. And then when I find my permanent settlement, I could I could set up my farm. And about that farm thing that I just said, actually right when you right when you settle, you need to make a farm like right away. And yeah. Okay, so let's go see. It's mid it's not it's it's almost midday and I need to find coal, so I'm gonna try to find coal. Need a little more food. Get down from the tree. There you are. Okay, now there's coal right there. Now if you're in a mountain biome, they sometimes I'm show like lots of Lots of like cobble, not cobblestone, but just like stone. So I, I really, if there's a mountain biome near you, you're more likely to find coal. 
Or if you're near like a huge cave. Usually I explore through caves last after I survive because I, I concentrate on surviving, not, not going through caves at first. And yeah. Okay. So now there's the coal. And good, now I could have my everlasting life. My anger bar is going down really quickly. I need to make a furnace. So usually when you make that, just get a tiny bit um gravel, just like 20 blocks or something. And then make a furnace and with the crafting bench and I make the other stuff. And I'll show you how to make a furnace after I get all the this coal. This this precious coal. Okay, so got more coal. Sometimes I feel like I'm mining coal forever. Like one time I got like 40 coal in one ore. It's crazy. Okay, so now first I'm gonna get some cobblestone so I can get it. Then after that, I have enough cobblestone now that I just place this bench down. And then to craft a furnace, you, you kind of like circle around with nothing in the middle. And there you go, you got a furnace. And I'm going to get a little more so I can build supplies out of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a little more wood because I need I need some to make like um, sticks for my torches and just other stuff and just because I need it. So I'm getting more of it and I kind of have to hurry because I think it's um almost night. Not actually. Oh, good, it's not. I'm on a good. I'm I'm on a good schedule. Okay. So while I'm doing this, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna run because because um I don't want my my energy or my um my drumsticks to go down or whatever you call it. And now, so I'm gonna place my furnace down. Oh yeah, and I need more wood for that. So I need that, and then. There we go. I'll leave it burning over there while I get some more wood. Yeah. So, um... I remember the first time I survived, I called the, I called it the world the Twin Trees. The first time I survived in this biome, like it just came out. They're like, oh wow, there's a new jungle biome. I was really excited, so I started, so I had a survival world with the jungle biome, and and back then I had this glitch with my uh, Minecraft, which it couldn't allow me to cook anything, so I couldn't get iron. So that was a big thing. So I could only get cobblestone and stone tools. So then. So then, um, so this is what it would do. It would like whenever I clicked on a um, a furnace, it would say it would say it would say like um, it Minecraft has crashed or something like that, and then it would like exit out and freeze. So I remember when I didn't have a furnace, but then I fixed it by restarting Minecraft. So if any of you have that glitch, just restart, just re-download your Minecraft. Okay, so I'm getting more wood. I, I might actually get a little more, a little more, um, 
cocoa beans because I need them because to make cookies, which are yummy. There's some wood. Don't want to forget those. I need to get all the wood that I need. I also need to kill the sheep because I don't because I don't have shears yet. So I need to get I need to kill the innocent sheep. I'm sorry, sheep, but I have to kill you. Say bye bye to your cruel world. And also you, sheep. You also black sheep. There we go. No, how about you white sheep? Come back here. It's almost dark. Okay, so usually when it gets dark and I try to find a shelter, this is what I usually do. I call this my hidey hole. Where's my furnace? Hope I didn't lose the furnace. That would be really bad if I did. There it is. Okay, so it's about it's about done. I need food like right about now. Perfect timing. So with the, with this, I'm just gonna eat really quick, and then I'll tell you what I usually do. So I usually go over to like a little. So instead of like making a whole fancy house like a wooden house right off the get go, I usually. Um, go over to like a side of a wall and I make my little hidey hole so I can stay there for a little bit. So I'm trying to make it right now. Where's the. <coughs> ah! Ah, my, my headset fell off when I sneezed. So, yeah. Okay, so. I'm gonna turn the it on a bright because I need it on bright really quick. So I'm just gonna dig into the earth right here. Dig in some more. Where's the furnace? Furnace. Need more jungle wood. Get the crafting bench. Furnace. Okay, so then I I need a I need a furnace. So uh, uh, not a furnace, but torches. So I'm gonna try to make. There we go. Got a lot of torches. Not torches, but sticks. And then this is how you get, um do it. You place sticks right there, and then you get the coal on top. Then voila, you got torches. Well, I got a lot because I mined it all. So. And now I can turn back to Moody. So now I'm gonna move these. And now I'm gonna build my little hidey hole. And just a reminder, this is a temporary shelter, it's not permanent. I usually like these to be my te temporary shelters because you just dig into the land. You don't like build a permanent structure, then the next morning you have to take it down. It takes you like half, half of the day. You don't even have to worry about this. I need a new um, pickaxe. Okay. I heard an Enderman. Okay, so then crafting table. Place it right here. And as I said with the sword, you just, with anything, Never mind. Okay, with anything you can play, you can do it with any mineral except emerald or sapphire. There's lots of it. I'm not going to say it all, but but you can do it with some of them. Okay, now I'm just going to make my little shelter for now. And. And yeah, I'm making my shelter. If you upgrade, they're much nicer than like wooden at um wooden wooden pig axes and stuff. They're way more better. My my advice, like don't stay in um 
wooden pickaxes for long because they're kind of sucky. They're kind of slow. Aw, yeah. oh, come on. Okay. So now, I'm just gonna elevate this up so I can respawn when I make my bed. So I'm going to elevate this and then I'll show you guys how to make a bed. Okay, so how to make a bed is this. You place you place planks like this and that could make jungle um like any wood slabs like let's go say you cut down a um a just a regular oak tree. It's a different color and it'll become like oak wood slabs. But as I was saying about um, beds, you do that, and then you place any wool there, and there you go, you got a bed. Nice comfortable bed. And I've also got to create a chest. So to make a chest, it's kind of like the same thing as a furnace, furnace, except with wood. You place wood all the way around except this little spot right there. And there you go, you got chests. And yeah. And now, um, and now since it's night time, never mind. I'll tell you after this, after I sleep. Okay, so, so. So now it's daytime. And yeah, now we successfully su succeeded the first day. In my opinion, the first day is way harder than the than the first two days. In my opinion, or the fir or the is in my opinion, the first day is harder is the hardest part of the game. Like when you just begin, you're like, huh? What do I do? So, yeah, and that is it. And that is it. And that is it. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to on on how to survive and and I'll appreciate if you subscribe to our channel Steve Army and also and also thank you for and also I would like it would be awesome if you have some likes and thank you for watching our video I'll be I'll be making some more and also, as a reminder, this is my very first YouTube video. Um, besides the one with QHOM with multiplayer, this is the one that I did on my own. So, so yeah, thank you. Bye.